biochar is a, a, a charcoal-like substance. So it's a material produced from biomass, agricultural byproducts, animal manures, uh, through heating under limited air supply. And that fundamentally changes the properties of biomass and it becomes very recalcitrant to decomposition. While a leaf, a crop residue, uh, a compost is easily digested by microorganisms and the carbon released into the atmosphere uh, as carbon dioxide, transforming that biomass into biochar means that the microbes cannot metabolize it very easily and it stays in the soil for a long, long period of time. And that difference between the easy, easily mineralizable properties of normal carbon in the environment and biochar, that makes for a carbon removal technology from the atmosphere. We have done biochar related research since the late 90s um, and uh, but have launched into wider field research only for the last five or six years. Um, we have only in the last two or three years been able to effectively collaborate with industry uh, and are moving forward now the, um, the uh, larger scale or production. Um, also uh, the collaborations with, with the engineers to move technology forward that has only happened over the last few years. Many units are in pilot stage. Um, Japan has already a vibrant industry uh, for uh, a couple of decades. Uh, in Australia, there are several companies that are starting to bring technologies on the market. Um, but there are uh, quite a number of industry that are in an incipient stage. And the uh, research around biochar is uh, taking off in the last couple of years. We are expecting that over the next five years we see a preponderance of, of uh, both academic research as well as applied research and implementation that we can draw better inferences about its global potential.